Hi everyone, welcome to Pretty Business TV, where we exploit everything pretty and expose the not so pretty. I'm your host, Erica Presley, and we're filming downtown at the Trenton Social. Today we have joining us Mr. Patrick Hall, as well as Mrs. Patricia Hall. They are local residents of Trenton, New Jersey, and they're here to share some big news for the upcoming people of Trenton to get excited for. It. First, we're going to start with a little Q&A from Mr. Hall. Um, get a little back, get a little Q&A on his background and see what's new with him and what can we look forward to in the future. How are you, Mr. Hall? I'm doing fine. Thank you for joining us. You as well. No problem. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've lived in the city of Trenton for about 40 years. Okay. In and around the city of Trenton. I've gone all over the place. I've, uh, I'm a business owner and I've owned several different businesses uh, over the last past 30 something years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, um, when I, when I, Growing up, I always worked for the city of Trenton as a lifeguard and then as a manager, and then I became the director of all the pools. Nice. So I've, I've worked in the recreation department for many, many years and worked with kids for many, many years. In terms of my background itself, I have a background in business, of course, okay. accounting, nice. like electronics, <laughs> and pool chemistry. Jack of all trades. So, so that's uh, that's pretty much my background. And, I've been in, you know, been around the city of Trenton for all this time, and it's been great. So it's safe to say you're a swimmer? <laughs> I am a, I'm a swimmer, I'm a gymnast, and I'm also a diver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so aside from everything that you had going on, what is the big news that you had oh, for us, <laughs> for the people? <laughs> The big news is after after years of being involved in many different organizations and working in the city of Trent, especially in, in the area of youth, I not only myself, but something spiritual happened in one of my businesses, a, a marketing company that we own, that led me to actually run for mayor for the city of Trent. Nice. So that's the news. That's the big news. So like who didn't hear or you know wasn't wasn't tuned in mr patrick hall is actually today as of today um, april 2nd he is declared the democratic candidate running for mayor for the trenton for trenton new jersey so like give him a round of applause for that that's big yeah but actually now just to correct a little bit it's it's and in, in our now it's usually a democratic or republican okay. situation mm -hmm. But we're we're different in the city of Trenton. Okay. <laughs> we're different. We elaborate. And the city of Trenton, uh, it's a non-partisan race, believe it or not. Wow. You don't. It doesn't matter if you're a Democratic, Republican. You don't go on the any uh, any flag at all. Okay. So, so mayor, with respect to that title, right. you know, you know yeah, big it's the title. Yep. It's okay. Mayor. So how how did you feel about you know actually declaring that you're gonna run? How, how do you feel about the whole process and? What can we expect from you if, you know, we were to have you on the ballot and if we were to, in fact, become the mayor of Trenton? Well, I felt really good about the announcement, which was way back in uh, July, believe it or not, last year. Wow. So I was the only declared candidate, and still wow. am until Thursday. <laughs> Someone else is coming out. But, uh, but in, in terms of what you would expect, for me, I have... I have this, these principles that I have. In most cases, on a, in a normal situation with a campaign, a person collects or their donations come from large construction companies or large organizations. And in our campaign, we don't accept those kind of contributions from special interest groups. These are groups who they want to give you large contributions, but once you become the mayor, they're in your pocket. And the decisions that you make reflect that deal rather than the deal for the people. So we do not accept special interest money, that's number one. Number two, we don't make any promises. So there's no promise of money or job to anyone that works with us, and we have an awful lot of supporters that are behind us. Now, in terms of what to expect, I'm also the kind of mayor who will be the kind of mayor who does not, I'm not concerned with being reelected four years later. 
that also cloudy up, clouds up the, uh, the decision making when it comes to certain things. So we won't have any part of our pockets, number two, and we won't be afraid of uh, not being reelected. So it makes us open to all kinds of new concepts and, and, and just moving forward. So that's what you can expect. That, that's actually a great point that you made. Um, I had have a couple stories in the news where we had people who are accepting money. In one of my classes, we had a person who um, a, a law wanted to be passed, and because of money decision, a person was throwing money in that direction. It wasn't. So that's actually very, very good and a big, big surprise from a candidate saying that they won't accept large amounts of money for those purposes. And not many people realize the reasons behind it. So I'm glad that you actually said that. It's, it's refreshing to hear that. So, you know, I don't want to say who I'm going to vote for, but you do. I am. I do appreciate you coming on the show, having the first declared candidate running for mayor. And, you know, based on what you said, I, I support that. I support that 100%. We're going to take a quick break, let Mrs. Patricia Hall speak and see what she has going on, and then we're going to get right back. What up, man? It's your man Showtime, Last Supper League singer, and we're representing out here chilling with Pretty Business Television 1. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, again, we have joining us Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Patricia Hall. Um, we're going to have a little Q&A with the potential first lady of Trenton, Mrs. Patricia Hall. How are you today? No, I'm just fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I like that word. I'm doing good, thank you. Um, you have a pretty extensive title. Do you like to, would you like to explain what you do? Well, um, I have worked for Trenton. Public library for 26 and a half years. Okay. Um, I love working with the public, um, so I've done that forever. Um, I also just entered the ministry. Um, we are both members of the Grand Chapel AME Church. We are pastors of the Grand Reverend Dr. Lord of the And I just received my license to preach about a month ago. Um, so that's one thing. I also uh, host a you do. I host a television slash radio show called Today's Topic on WIG, and it also airs on page L, Channel 25. A little bit. Another Jennifer Montrey. We like that. Just a little bit. A great, great background. Um, do you want to get into where? How would you? How do you feel about your husband? potentially running for mayor and hopefully winning that spot as mayor. How do you feel about that? Well, I'll tell you, um, about a month before um, the spiritual event happened, we um, both received at the same time as we to run. Um, about a month before that, he came to me, something happened. He came to me and said, I would never want to be a mayor. It's a difficult job to do. I never want to do it. And then a month later, God has a way of uh, putting you in a place and showing you who's in charge. Um, and because of the way that it happened, it was very spiritual. We both received it at the same time. Um, I knew it was something I was not about to do. Um, I will say, he bought into it right away. He got busy, and, and I was right there supporting him, helping him, working with him. You know, he was up to 4 o'clock in the morning planning and putting things together and I was fine with that role and not until about October of last year or a few months after the announcement did I realize I'm gonna be you know if he's the mayor then that makes me the first lady by train and you know that's a big deal. Um, I've grown up in this city I'm very proud to be a resident of the city of Trenton. I think it's a wonderful city and I think more than anything the best thing the city has to offer but, and to be in a position to represent the people in that way, by the mayor's side, I consider to be an honor. Um, I, I'm beginning to really look forward to it. I think it's going to be exciting. Um, we do almost everything together. Um, you know, it's a joke, pat and pat. Um, and I think people, what they will begin to appreciate is um, is this is exactly who we are. We were the same two people that we are representing right now. We were this couple 
prior to receiving that spiritual um, event in our lives, and we're just carrying it right on through the campaign. Right by his side, I'm always going to support him. I think he is the side of being the cutest <laughs> candidate that could ever be on the ballot. Um, I think because of his principles, um, because of our spirituality, because he can humble himself in the presence of God more than anything, that he has exactly what it takes, and uh, the Lord will take care of everything else. It's all just being put into place. He's worked very hard uh, to get where he is today, and I am extremely proud very proud That was very refreshing. Very I actually have no more questions. My my ring is coming off. I'm just I'm elated to have you guys on the show. You are you are very real people down the earth. It's so refreshing to hear um, political candidates to to speak truth. If, if it's not the truth, I actually you believe you have me believe. So you know it's very refreshing to hear that. I like to thank you both for coming on the show, giving the people a little insight of what's to come for the city of Trenton, for the people, because we are here for the people and the city. Um, I look forward to coming on your radio show. Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me today. Uh, and at the same time, keep us posted with all information. We'll let the people know, you know, when you guys have any rallies or anything like that. Make sure you come back to join us. Thank you again for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed Patrick Paul and Mrs. Patricia Hall, candidate running for mayor and the first lady hopeful. <laughs> so tune in again next week. Again, I'm Erica Presley from Filming Live with the Trends of Social. And always remember to keep it pretty.